here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned in to the talking shit. Today we're doing a uh, comparison between different practices of managing stalks. We're going to cut them open. Uh, Today is March 21st. We did some of these comparisons uh, in late fall, early winter there. And uh, today being March, you know, we're uh, the sun's out at 70 degrees today. We're creeping up on the time frame where we're going to be putting some soybeans in here. And I want to show you guys the differences in the stalks. So these two stalks, uh, nothing was done with them. They stood straight up all winter. You can see, uh, you know, everything's still intact. They stood straight up. These two were hit with a chisel in the fall. You can see uh, they were kind of buried a little bit. They laid flat for quite a while. And then, of course, these stalks, because this is a field that had been devastated, these have been devastated with the Yetter Stalk Devastator. So we're going to cut all these open here and just do a comparison on what we find. So, of course, this one, it does require a knife. You can't do it with your hands. But come in here, Cody, real close and see. Look how shiny and clean that is, okay? There is hard, just at the top, you can see some bacterial development and growth down into that stalk. But up here, pay attention. You can see some bacterial development and growth up here, but down here at the bottom, at the base where it's strongest, this stalk is extremely strong yet. And it's, it's far from being brittle enough to do much with. Um, so you go in there, uh, this spring, there's still a lot of strength. There's still a lot of uh, nutrients locked up in that stalk. So that was the ones that were standing straight up. This one was hit with a chisel. So this one, I could probably break it open with my hands, really, because it's been broken down or enough to do that. So we break this one open, and look what we've got. Down here where a chisel blade or something hit it, dirt, moisture got in there, that's really brittle down here. Up here, you can see it's pretty shiny. The shell wasn't really cracked, uh, but you can definitely see a big difference between these two, between the, the untouched and the chiseled one. Um, you can see a big difference there. This one's real shiny, nothing got in there. This one is pretty decent. Now here's the uh, Yetter Stalk Devastator. Of course, I'm gonna have to pull the root ball and everything out because the Yetter Devastator doesn't pull the stalks out and it doesn't create blowing. But here we can see this one's pretty well shattered, pretty cracked from the, from the outside appearance. And I can break this one open much like an egg. Uh, wood. So here's this one. And you can see that there's a lot of moisture that has gotten into here. There's a lot of bacteria pretty well from the top to the bottom. The shell is cracked pretty much everywhere. And there's pretty decent breakdown. Now on this chiseled one, you can see that there's more breakdown right here, but that was laying under dirt yet. So it got a lot of microbes and, and action in there but there's a big difference between you know this stalk which was untouched the shell isn't even cracked can you see that cody yes the shell isn't even cracked yep. if you would look and so that thing is real protective versus this one this yetter devastated one like i said it today it's 70 degrees out it's dry so if you're going to come in here with a a vertical tillage tool or even your planter and just no-till into this stuff this this devastated stuff is dry it's brittle and you can manage it you can you can do something with it versus you've got a field full of these you can damage tires you can you won't be able to get a whole lot done because they're so strong yet the shells are still there so I would say that at the conclusion, the chiseled one is broken down a little bit more than the other devastated one. But given the ROI, and there was no additional passes made here on the other devastator, you can see these stalks are still kind of standing up. When we shelled this corn, there was still moisture in there. So it, it would lay it down, it would roll over it and crimp it. As you can see, these are just as brittle as, as can be, but, they kind of sprang back up a little bit whereas the chiseled field 
those got incorporated. But think of the cost it takes to chisel it, and they're also gonna have to make another pass this spring to make that field level and smooth enough to plant versus we're gonna hit this one with a Salford 1200 and plant right into it. So those are the differences between uh, uh, untouched corn stalks, yet or devastated stalks, and ones that have been hit with a chisel. There's a huge difference come spring, in my opinion. Uh, you know, you can come in here and actually manage these stalks. So if you're thinking about getting a yetter de stalk devastator, it's the best way to manage uh, stalks and, and residue. So that's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in.